Two-way ANOVA analysis using general linear model. Getting insights into two key tests, effect plots, and optimization techniques. The two-way ANOVA or analysis of variance is an extension of the one-way ANOVA to analyze the means of two factors and their interaction. To perform an ANOVA, you must have a continuous response variable and at least two categorical factor. The F ratio in ANOVA compares between group to within group variance, indicating the presence of significant differences. A significant F ratio suggests notable variance between groups, pointing to potential differences in mean values. In ANOVA, we compare between group variation to within group variation to determine between groups exist. If the between group variation is small relative to the within group variation, there is little evidence that the population means differ. On the other hand, if the between group variation is large relative to the within group variation, evidence suggests that the population means are not the same. Distinguishing between one way and two way ANOVA. One-way ANOVA extends the two-sample t-test to analyze variance across groups with a categorical factor. To perform an ANOVA, you must have a continuous response variable and at least one categorical factor with two or more levels. For example, you want to assess the impact of different designs of web pages for your internet business. The two-way ANOVA or analysis of variance is an extension of the one-way ANOVA to analyze the means of two factors and their interaction. For example, you want to assess material and temperature effect on yield performance. Minitab software emerges as a statistical ally, transforming raw data into actionable insights with its robust suite of analytical tools. Engineer wants to design a resistor that is relatively unaffected by the ambient temperature. Three material types can be used to make the resistor. The output response from the resistor is effective life in days. Three temperature levels are selected, and a factorial experiment with four replicates is run. The data are as follows. Box plots in Minitab visually dissect data distributions across materials and temperatures, offering a clear window into effective life variability. Choose graph box plot 1y with groups. In graph variables, enter effective life in days. In categorical variables for grouping, 1 to 4, outermost first, enter material temperature. Click OK. Material C superior mean performance and temperature 30's advantageous effects are visually deciphered through insightful box plots. The general linear model stands as a statistical beacon, guiding through the murky waters of multi-factor analysis with precision. Fitting a general linear model in Minitab involves methodically selecting response variables and factors, illuminating paths to deeper insights. Choose STAT ANOVA General Linear Model Fit General Linear Model. In responses, enter effective life in days. In factors, enter material temperature. Click Model. In factors and covariates, select material and temperature. To the right of interactions through order, select 2, and click Add. Click the Graphs button. Under Residual Plots, select 4 in 1. Click OK in each dialog box. Factor coding translates the language of statistics into understandable terms, bridging the gap between numerical data and practical significance. Factor coding with levels, minus 1, 0, plus 1, simplifies the interpretation of how each factor level deviates from the overall mean, offering clarity. The ANOVA table stands as the statistical report card, grading each factor's contribution to the model, guiding future decisions. In the analysis of variance table, the p-values for all the terms are less than the significance level of 0.05, the engineer can conclude that the effects are statistically significant. R-squared, R-squared adjusted and R-squared predicted. R-squared measures the proportion of variability in the response explained by the equation. 
An R-squared value of 77.64% not only quantifies model fit but also reassures that the chosen factors significantly explain the variability. R-squared to determine how well the model fits your data. The higher the R-squared value, the better the model fits your data. The R-squared should be used with caution, since it is always possible to make R-squared large by adding enough terms to the model. For example, the three-predictor model will always have an R-squared that is at least as high as the two-predictor model. The advantage of adjusted R-squared is that it penalizes the inclusion of unnecessary variables. The adjusted R-squared is a modified version of R-squared that accounts for predictors that are not significant in a regression model. R-squared adjusted is a modified version of the R-squared that takes into account the number of predictors in a regression model. The adjusted R-squared value will only increase if the new variables significantly improve the model's performance. Use R-squared, predicted, to determine how well your model predicts the response for new observations. Models that have larger R-squared, predicted, values have better predictive ability. Multiple comparisons tests navigate the statistical landscape, identifying truly significant differences amidst a sea of data. Tukey's method for pairwise comparison shines a light on the specific differences between groups, guiding informed decisions with precision. Choose STAT, ANOVA, General Linear Model Comparisons. From response, select effective life in days. Under type of comparison, select pairwise. Under method, select Tukey. Under choose terms for comparisons, double-click material and temperature. Click graphs. Check interval plot for differences of means. Click OK in each dialog box. In the grouping information using the Tukey method and 95% confidence, groups that do not share a letter are significantly different. Groups that share a letter are not significantly different. Material C and B share a same letter, it shows that both are not significantly different. Tukey's method is used to create confidence intervals for all pairwise differences between factor level means while controlling the family error rate to a level you specify. Three possible pairwise comparisons for material. An interval between C and B contains zero, the corresponding means between them are not significant different. Three possible pairwise comparisons for temperature. 60 to 30, 90 to 30 and 90 to 60. All the three intervals do not contain zero, the corresponding means between them are significant different. Factorial plot. Choose STAT, ANOVA, General Linear Model Factorial Plots. From response, select effective life in days. Under variables to include in plots, move material and temperature into selected list. Click OK. From the main effect plot, the material C and temperature of 30 degrees Celsius show the higher mean among their respective group. Use interaction plot to show how the relationship between one factor and a continuous response depends on the value of the second factor. No interaction occurs if the interaction plot is parallel lines. On the other hand, interaction occurs if non-parallel lines exist. The more non-parallel the lines are, the greater the strength of the interaction. Temperature of 30 degrees Celsius show higher mean regardless of material type. An interaction occurs between material and temperature due to non-parallel lines. Residual analysis Residual analysis is the primary tool for determining whether the assumed regression model is appropriate. The deviations between the actual and predicted values are called errors, or residuals. You should examine residual plots and other diagnostic statistics to determine whether your model is adequate and the assumptions of regression are met. If your model is not adequate, it will incorrectly represent your data. There are three assumptions of error which are normally distributed, constant variance for all fitted values and random and independent over time. For normal probability plot, the points on the normal probability plot roughly follow a straight line, you can assume that the residuals do not deviate substantially from a normal distribution. 
For histogram, an exploratory tool to show general characteristics of the residuals including typical values, spread, and shape. No outliers being observed. For residuals versus fitted values, the constant variance assumption does not appear to be violated because the residuals are randomly scattered about zero and have approximately the same scatter for all fitted values. For residual versus order, the residuals in the plot should fluctuate in a random pattern around the center line. It violated the assumption of independent if residuals systematically decrease or increase or sudden change as the order of the observations increases from left to right. Using the response optimizer, the optimized settings to maximize the mean are material B in temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. The fitted mean is 165.8. Composite Desirability, D, evaluates how the settings optimize a set of responses overall. Desirability has a range of 0 to 1. 1 represents the ideal case, 0 indicates that one or more responses are outside their acceptable limits. Here, the optimal desirability 0.8114 is close to 1, which indicates the settings seem to achieve favorable results for the response. The two-way ANOVA or analysis of variance is an extension of the one-way ANOVA to analyze the means of two factors and their interaction. Tukey's method is used to create confidence intervals for all pairwise differences between factor level means while controlling the family error rate to a level you specify. For ANOVA, there are three specific assumptions about error or residual which are errors are normally distributed, errors are random and independent and errors have constant variance across all factor levels. Would you kindly consider liking and subscribing to our channel? Your support means a lot to us. Bye, see you next time.